Would you like to be able to provision a highly available database with replicas that live in your data center and the public cloud, and maybe even on different hypervisor versions? Hello, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And with Nutanix Era, you can provision databases, whether those databases be on Nutanix HV or ESXi, or even running on Nutanix clusters in the public cloud with just a single Era interface. Let's see how this works. Before we begin our multi-cloud provisioning journey, let's take a look at the different clusters that are registered with this Nutanix Era installation. From the drop-down menu, I'm gonna choose Administration, and then I'm gonna to go to Nutanix Clusters. As you can see here, I have three clusters registered, two in my data centers, one in Ontario running ESXi and one in Durham running AHV. Then I have one cluster that is a Nutanix cluster in the AWS public cloud. Now let's hit the drop-down menu and go over to Software Profiles. We need to make sure that our profile that we want to use to deploy on multiple different Nutanix clusters is replicated out to those different Nutanix clusters. As you can see here, all of my Nutanix clusters have a copy of the SQL 2019 SQL profile. You only need to create one software profile, no matter how many different Nutanix clusters you have, whether they be uh, running AHV or ESXi, because the Nutanix platform will automatically convert the software profile to be used on either platform as a function that is built in to the Nutanix protection domains that ERA uses. So now that we've checked to make sure our profile is available where we want to provision our replicas for our highly available database, let's provision a SQL always on database. So from the databases page, I'm gonna click on SQL Server, then I'll choose provision, SQL, availability database. So from the Windows cluster page, I'm gonna select my cluster name. I'm gonna set it to SQL multi-C. Then I'm gonna choose all the available Nutanix clusters, select a network profile that I set up earlier, as well as the Windows domain, and then I'll choose next. On the database server VM page, I'm gonna select my software profile. I'm going to choose SQL 2019. I'm going to choose a compute profile. And you can see the size of the compute profile by hovering over the eye. I'm going to set my administrator password. I'm going to add four servers to be part of my AG group. Two of them will be located in my Durham cluster, one of them in my Ontario cluster, and one of my Nutanix clusters running in AWS. From there, I'm going to select my SQL parameter profile and then choose next. On the next page, you can see that it carries over the name of the cluster to the AG group. You can change it if you like, just like you could the server names on the previous page. I'm going to set all my clusters to be readable secondaries. And I'm going to change my backup to take place from the secondary only. That way the backup is not taking load off the primary server. On the next page, I'm going to set my database name and choose my database parameter profile. On the Time Machine page, I'm going to take the default Time Machine name. I'm going to choose my production SLA that backs up the logs every 30 minutes. And as you can see, it's pretty robust. And then I'm going to make sure that it replicates to all of my Nutanix clusters and then choose provision. So the provisioning job is complete. It took about 53 minutes to provision four servers across multiple different Nutanix clusters running different hypervisors and one running in the public cloud. If we go back to the databases page, click on sources, and we click on our multi CAG, we can see our database name, and we can see that it is spread out on all the clusters. This capability isn't just for SQL availability groups. You can do it with Postgres SQL HA and MongoDB replicas. So that's how easy ERA makes it to manage database replicas, whether they live in your own data center on different hypervisors, or even running on Nutanix clusters in the public cloud. You can learn more about Nutanix Era by clicking on the link shown here to take you to the Nutanix Era YouTube playlist. Also, don't forget, you can try Era for free by going to Nutanix.com slash test era for a free Nutanix test drive.